right, so let's get some toppings here on this bad burger. So I'm going to start with the easy circular ones, which are pickles, onions, and tomato. So I'm going to start at the bottom and make some ellipses. I'm going to make a small circle. I'm holding shift to make a pickle. I'm going to copy that circle and hold shift and make it bigger to be our tomato. And then I'm going to copy it again and make it even a little bigger to be our onion. Now I'm starting with circles because I want to be able to set up my uh, gradients correctly from the start. So starting with the pickle, I want to have sort of a dark green on the outside that fades to a lighter green. So I'm going to do a radial gradient. And I'm going to go to green and get sort of a dark green here. And on the inside, we're going to go again to green and get sort of a lighter green, something like this. Now, a trick I like to do is instead of having this clean fade, I like to click to create an additional layer on our gradient here. And I want to move it over here up against this edge. And I want to eyedropper and get sort of that like dark edge. And what that does is it gives me sort of like a darker ring here, you can see, that is sort of that solid color, and then it fades. And that'll be useful in a moment. Tomato, same deal. I'm going to try to pick sort of a bright reddish color. I'm going to get more into like here. And then we're going to do a radial gradient. And the inside I want to be sort of a lighter pink. But I'm also going to click in the middle and maybe throw some orange in here because tomatoes kind of have this like orangey bits going for them sometime. And maybe this isn't perfect, but it gets us sort of a look. You can play around with this a bit more. I'm going to try to pull this over a little bit to give us that sort of thicker pink outside bit. Maybe move the orange more towards the center. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to see it at an edge and it's going to be covered with a bunch of other stuff. But we want to get sort of the, the tomato-y colors that we're looking for. I think I want to make this guy just more pink. Yeah, like that. Something like that. Um, our onion can actually stay this sort of off-white color, but I'm going to, again, go with a radial gradient. And on the outside here, I just want like a very light gray. And I want to move this guy like all the way to the outside. And then click in here and again go for like sort of a dark gray. And what we're looking for is sort of a ring in the middle here that's like dark gray to white to like gray again. And that, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to do the rest of the tricks on this. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to hold alt and copy him. And we're going to line him up so he's sort of up and to the right of that top one. And this bottom one here, I'm going to switch back off of gradient, I'm just going to eyedropper and get sort of the darker color. And then I make it even darker. I want to be like in there. And that gives us, again, sort of this fake 3D. And when we're good, we're going to take it here. And we're going to group it. And I'm going to call this guy Pickle. Tomato, same deal. I'm going to copy it up to the right. This one I'm going to leave sort of a thicker space because tomatoes are usually thicker than pickles. The lower one, I'm going to eyedropper the red, but then make the red a little darker to give us that tomato-y edge. Select both, root, call it tomato. And then this one's going to be a little special. I'm going to make another circle, and I'm going to try to line it up here with this inside bit. And I can even select them both together and use my alignment tools to make sure they're centered on each other. And what I want to do is choose to subtract it. So I end up getting a hole. So you can see our onion has a hole in it now. Now it's an onion ring. Uh, I'm going to 
convert it to a path, and then do the same sort of trick I did with the circles. I'm going to copy it up and to the right. And then I'm going to eyedropper to get sort of that darker color, and maybe even go a smidge darker by going down there. Looks good. Group it and call it onion. Now, these three all look like they're looking as straight on, so they're not going to fit on top of our burger, but we're going to fix that by literally grabbing this top piece and just sort of squishing them. So there's our tomato. Here's a pickle, and it looks to me like pickle wants to be above tomato. And I'm going to hold Alt and copy it and maybe rotate it a couple times. Put one here, stick it out. Maybe one here this way. And then here's our onion with a squish. And it looks great. I'm going to tilt this one as well. Copy. Tilt it the other way, maybe. Put it up here. If we move our bun to the top, we can see we don't have to worry too much about some of this looking weird because the bun will cover our mistakes. Starting to look pretty good. To that end, if we wanted some lettuce, I would grab the freehand tool and just try to draw a circle while being wavy. So I would do kind of this, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Something like that looks great. What I want to do is I'm going to fill it with a bright green somewhere in here. Let me sort of brighter than that. That looks good. I want to get rid of the border because we haven't had any the whole time. And I'm going to do the same trick I did with the circular toppings. I'm going to pull up and to the right just a bit. I'm going to select the lower one and make it just a bit darker. And you know what, looking at my shape here, I feel like this edge is really nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it this way instead and rotate it around so that that's the bit that's, yeah, I like this edge nicer. I'm going to group it, call it lettuce, put it beneath top bun. And again, I would probably just squish it some, maybe stretch it to what's sort of the right shape we're looking for. Looks to me this lettuce is a little too bright green. It's kind of like neon green. I'm going to move it beneath the tomato even. That looks pretty good. We'll make it come out there. I'm going to come in here, and I think just this guy needs to be more this color. And the bottom one needs to be more sort of down there. Looking pretty good. Lastly, with the freehand tool, if you want, you can um, just sort of zigzag over the top like this and then uh, don't worry about our fill here but with our border if you pick like bright red and fatten it up some and maybe click on our border options to round out the edges we can get some nice catch up and I'm always for working smarter not harder we could draw some mustard in here but I'm just gonna copy this guy flip him upside down so he faces the other way and go towards a nice mustardy color. That's not a nice mustardy color. Let's get like there. That's pretty good. Could maybe be just a shade, a shade lighter. There we go. Something like that. I'm not going to worry too much about it. It looks like I'm going to stick out of the bun some, so I'm going to squish. We take our bun down. Move the button to the top. Starting to get really get there. You can do the same trick that we do to make things 3D with the uh, ketchup and mustard just as easily. You can also do the offset or give it a little bit of a gradient. Um, here, I think I'm going to go gradient. And interesting. Do that. Take this one and make it a little darker there. 
Same with our red here, gradient, not eyedropper, the exact red. Move down. Looking pretty good. Next, we're going to look at adding like a plate and some shadows to this, and then we'll talk about uh, accessories and other items that you can make for your menu.